What's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's been a long time. For those of you who watch the channel, you know that Codgers Garage has been basically most of the videos lately. For you Codgers Workshop fans out there, you've been hanging on and I want to thank you guys for hanging on. Because today we have a Codgers Workshop classic review. Also, let me just point out, Codgers Workshop hat, and shirts are now available. So, keep that in mind. I will link below in the description to my Zazzle shop where I've been making the shirts and hats. So, check those out. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to dive right into this. So first of all, do the grand unveiling. What do you think of that? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh no, Kodger, you didn't. <laughs> and the answer is, no, I didn't actually. My mom did. So, she asked me to review it for the channel, since I am the Ryobi guy here. This is... Model P1140, as best as I can tell. It's not marked clear on the box like it usually is. There's a little sticker here that says it on the side. So I think that's what it is. This is the 13 inch cordless 18 volt Ryobi lawnmower with bagger. Okay. Uh, Mom wanted, this is this kind of the backstory. Mom has wanted one of these for a very long time. She wanted a corded push mower. Uh, not necessarily a Ryobi, just a corded push mower or something like that. She wanted to get away from gas because we run older stuff here and it's always acting up and, and there's nothing to mow the lawn with while we're fixing it. And yeah. So anyway, Mom wanted to convert to electric of some sort. So, when she came to me, she always asked me when she goes to buy something like this, what I think, right? So, I said, well, hey, listen, rather than drag around 150 feet of extension cord, why don't you go cordless? And she's like, well, yeah, I could do that. So, we went online and we looked, and out of all the different cordless Ryobi models, this was the most affordable and it most fit her needs. So, they make bigger models of this. They make a 13 inch, which is this, and then they make the 16 inch, I think, I think that's as big as they go on 18 volt, 16, maybe they go 20, I don't know, don't quote me on that. When you get into the 40 volt, it's more standard size mowers, but she didn't want to do 40 volt, because if she gets an 18 volt, then that gives her such broad, you know, horizons when she gets that battery in that charger. So, she's all excited now, and she's like, well, I need the string trimmer, and I need the pole saw, and she's just going nuts. But, anyway, so, this is out of my comfort zone, you could say. I don't typically... I can understand the electric over gas, to an extent, okay? I bought the electric string trimmer, and I love the electric string trimmer. It does not replace a gas string trimmer in some ways, because a gas string trimmer, you can do a lot more, and, you know, so it depends on what you're using it for. I use it for light trimming. When I get a mow job and stuff, and somebody has me do the lawn, and then they just want it trimmed up, I don't have heavy trimming. I just go around trees and stuff. It works great. Uh, same with this. Okay. I don't want to spoil too much of how this is going to go in this review, but... I will say you may be surprised 
because I was very surprised. So, first of all, let me just say, Ryobi has done it again. They have shocked me <laughs> completely. When she asked me to choose a mower for her, I really was skeptical of the electric because in the past, a cordless electric, you know, something is like a drill or something like that. I've never seen anything like this before. Okay, you're telling me an 18 volt battery is going to turn a 13 inch blade fast enough with enough power to mow the lawn. It's pretty hard to get your mind around unless you've seen it. Now, let me say, before we get into the testing of this, I have a bunch of different clips from a bunch of different days that we're going to put in here. So bear with me, I'll do a little introduction to each clip. Uh, let me say, for the average person, I think if you decided, we're going to talk about this more, I just want to graze the surface right now. I think if you decided to get one of these, 100% go with the 16 inch, I would say. It's worth the money. That's all I'm going to say right now. We're going to go ahead and get into this slowly but surely and see how it goes so bear with me guys this is going to be a lot of fun one of the more fun reviews we've done so we're gonna get right into it okay guys we're outside now first thing i want to go over with you are the things that this kit includes okay so with this kit first going to get a very simple, very run-of-the-mill charger here. Uh, it's a lithium charger, not dual chemistry, obviously one port, very run-of-the-mill, nothing special, okay. It's got a good wall plug on it. 4 amp hour battery with the fuel gauge. I have no idea if you guys, wow, the flies are like crazy. I have no idea if you guys can even see fuel gauge or not because it's so bright out so anyway 4 amp hour battery P108 in case you're wondering okay charger is P118B okay then you get the detachable bagger okay and finally, the mower. It's so bright outside. There it is. Okay. Now, a couple things to go over here. First, the features. Included with the mower is a key. Okay. And if you guys use tools a lot, cordless tools. You know how these work. Same thing as like a table saw key. It's a plastic key with some metal contacts. That has to be in there for it to work. Okay. Because like children and stuff, they don't want them to be able to slap a battery in here and chop their fingers off. Which is very hard to do. Let me just show you this. Now let me say first, okay, I'm not recommending that younger children mow with this. What I am going to tell you is, I would feel like they could probably do it, okay? Let me show you why. Is it still in frame? Yeah, okay. I put the battery in. Okay, you just lift up, right down here, put your battery in, put it in. Now to start this, 
This is funny. I thought you just pull these back here on the handles. I thought you just pull those back and I figured it would go. But no, you actually have to hold both of these. Well, one. You don't have to hold both. Hold one and push this button and hold it. Hear it? Now what happens here, I let go and it completely stops. So unless you're somebody my size, okay, in order to get injured, you have to hang on to this, tip the mora, and stick your foot underneath it. A little kid, his legs is not going to be that long. Okay. So, no, I'm not saying go out there and, and let your little kid mow the lawn. Jeez, no way. All right? But what I am saying is, Ryobi did a very good job of making this very safe for anybody who may use it. Okay. So, that's how you operate it. Pull these, click this, down at the bottom. If you hit it up here, it won't work. So you gotta click it right down here. Hold that, click that. Starts right up. Okay. That is all there is to it. So, also, let me say, Ryobi included on the mower a height adjustment. Now, the skeptical thing about this is this height adjuster is one adjuster for all four wheels instead of the classic design that you would have on a gas mower where you would have one of these adjusters on every single individual wheel. I was very skeptical of that. I can say it doesn't feel super durable to me. I don't know how it would hold up if you did tons of adjusting all the time because as you can see, most of the mower here is plastic. There are the adjustment things here are metal. But this is like a plastic handle here. And it just, it doesn't feel super quality to me. I'm not saying it would break. I don't know. It may or may not. But, just something to think about. Okay. Now... Also, you can raise and lower your handles here by pressing these buttons on each side and pulling up on the handles. Okay, so this is set right now for mom, but if you're somebody my size, okay, and you want those handles up high, just push in on those and pull them up until they click. Okay, now attaching the bagger. Here's the bagger. It's very small, very compact. Something, a tip that dad gave me actually. I didn't know because I've never run a mower with baggers. You have to keep these baggers cleaned out. Okay, you can't store this with anything in it because it will rot the bag. Makes sense, right? Wet grass. Good part about this one is plastic bottom. Canvassy sides, but plastic bottom. Alright. It also has this flap here. Get it to open. I have no idea what that's for. I don't know if it's supposed to be so you can check to see if the bag's full. But let's talk about that too. First of all, let's put the bag on. And to put the bag on, tip the camera down a little bit. Okay, you see these notches, I'm trying to see if you guys can see that, those notches right there, okay, you're going to flip this up, as you can see we've got some grass in there from previous mowing, and we have used this quite a bit guys, since we got it, take this bagger, see the hooks on the side there? Right up here. Just gonna put them down in them slots on both sides. Okay. And then release down that 
trap on the top. And then when you get it in there right, it'll all line up just like that. So, let's talk a little bit about the bagging system. First of all, something you may want to note. I don't have it out here right now. But there is a mulcher plug that comes already installed in this mower. I'm going to take the bagger back off so I can show you this. Tip this down. See this hole in here? Right there? When you buy this mower, there's going to be a plastic piece inserted covering this hole. Your mower will not bag unless you lift that up and pull it out and remove it like I have here. Okay? So, that's something to think about. I got this mower, well, Mom got this mower, and we went to use it, and it wasn't bagging at all. And we're like, well, what the heck, right? And I never read the instructions because I was like, well, it's a mower. How complicated can it be? And this does come all assembled except for uh, you have to put the two parts of your handles together and then and put them in and then put the bagger on. That's it. But anyway, so it was not bagging at all. That's why. You have to take that plug out. So the whole idea is if you take the bagger off and put that plug in, then you mulch. just keeps chewing it up finer and finer. But if you take the plug out, put the bag on, then it just mows it and bags it. Now this bag is definitely a little small. I wish that they had made the bag come up higher, maybe out to here, so that you could get a little bit of extra bagging capacity. Um, that's another thing. If this flap, I can't even get open. There it is. But this flap is to let you see, you know, if your bag's full. This doesn't bag all the way up to the end of this. It doesn't. It won't. It only bags to about here. Okay. And I know this. I've mowed with this plenty. Okay. It doesn't matter what the conditions are. It stops bagging after it gets to here. So keep that in mind. This is not your ideal mower for a great big lawn if you want to bag everything you mow. Because you're going to do a lot of bag emptying. So that being said, how does this mower perform? Well, I right now am going to do a demonstration for all of you. I also have several clips we're going to put in the video of other demonstrations and before and afters, well not befores, but afters, after using it, mowing and things, and then I'm going to come back with my final thoughts. So, let me back the camera up here a little bit. Most of the lawn is mowed, but I do have a patch over here that is not, and I will try to get that coming closer. Get you guys set up just right so you can see this. Alright, we'll try that. Okay. So here we go. And this thing is light as a feather, guys. It's got a carrying handle on the bagger. Right there. It's got a carrying handle right here. I could lug this thing around a really long time. If I had to, okay. I think it weighs 25 pounds. I think that's what it said on the box. Something like that. It's really light, okay? So that's a pro. All right. So I don't know how well you can see. We'll be in a little closer again. But right there is some pretty tall. Uh, if I put my arm down here, it's like hands, so it's probably six or seven inches tall right there. Okay, let's go ahead and mow it with the Ryobi. That's 
that's another thing right there you see that it did stall out you can't rush this mower it's a very slow and calculated process mowing with this sort of a problem. Okay, this is very interesting. I have not had any of these problems off camera. You see what happened here? I actually got a jam of grass underneath the blade enough that it completely stopped the blade. Okay, this has not happened to me before. So I'm gonna go ahead Pull the battery out. Pull that clump of stuff out of there. There it is. Throw that out. And we're gonna put the battery back in. Try to do this again. Now keep in mind this is fairly mossy over here where I'm mowing. So it is a good test to see just what this will do. All right, we're coming back indoor. Let it rev up. And the ground is also very uneven here. Okay, so the problem I'm experiencing is this. Okay, that still looks good. It's so mossy right there that the wheels are binding combined with it's uneven so it doesn't want to mow it. So now what we're going to do is, this is good to get on camera because like I say I haven't had any of these problems. We're going to find a place that isn't mossy. We're going to try it again and see what happens. Now some good points about this mower. It's light enough that an uneven train, you can just wheelie your way over whatever. Whereas a gas mower, when you're wheelie mowing, those of you who have uneven lawns, you know what I mean, you know, you come into a dip, you have to pick up on it a little bit, to keep it from bottoming out. This is easy to do that, whereas a gas mower, not always so much. So, that's something to keep in mind. Okay, uh, this is a bad week to have mowed. <laughs> so, I don't know, guys. It's, it's very interesting. It's definitely very, very interesting to see, oh, that's perfect, what this will do. So, let's talk about sticks. Okay. We all know, when you're mowing, you're going to encounter sticks on the lawn, and you're going to hit them. So here I have a stick, almost the same size as my finger. I'm boldly doing this because I already know the answer. Will this chew up the stick? We're going to find out. Set you there. Where is the stick? For reference point, this is the stick. fling it. It actually broke it there. You see that? Get it positioned. It's hard to position them, you know, like they would be on the lawn. But... Here's the 
here's another one. Set them in there. I'm trying to get it to really chew them up for you. snarled up and fairly bushy over here. Okay, look at all those sticks right there. You watch this. over okay that first original stick remember what it looked like before I chewed the end off it here it is smaller I couldn't really get it to catch the sticks you know and really chuck them because the sticks are flat on the ground just you know but my point is all this to say if you hit a stick with that it's not gonna kill it and I'm actually impressed with that because I thought the first time you hit a stick or a little rock, which has happened too, it was going to be all over but the crying. And it's not. So I'm impressed. Another thumbs up. Now, let's talk about something else. The blade that comes with this is junk. Well, I don't want to say junk. That's, that's a little strong. It's not the best. Okay? It's really cheap blade. So... What I want to show you guys here, I don't know if you're going to be able to really see it or not. Okay, you see the blade? It's a really cheap, cheap blade. This would perform so much better with a different blade. There's a lot of damage all along here on the blade. You can see the silver edge, chunks sticking out and things. Don't get me wrong, the blade cuts fine. But, it's just not as tough of a blade as I'd like. And I have to say, hitting things with the blade that comes on it is not a big deal. It doesn't seem to affect how the blade itself cuts. But, nevertheless, it doesn't take it well. So I would recommend, I told mom actually, if this works out well, after a couple months, to go down to the, the saw shop and get a real blade, you know, by a real blade company. Okay, now we finally have some grass that isn't mossy here. I did find some. You see all that? I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with a mower. Get an action. This is crazy guys, absolutely crazy. We have another, that's right ladies and gentlemen, another situation where grass is balled up and completely stopped the 
blade from turning. I don't understand this. Like I say, we have had this for two, maybe three weeks. Three weeks. Mowing with it pretty much every day between me and mom. Because I've been taking it on some mowing jobs too, which you'll see the clips here coming up. And this has not had an issue like this. It may have on her, I don't know. It has not on me. That really, really surprises me. Now let's see, in that little bit of mowing there, what the bagger looks like. Is it full? What do we got going on, you know? Let's go ahead and attach the bagger. Now as you can see, Okay, the bag would be at about this angle. I can't get that trap door open. The trap door doesn't really tell you much. Granted, it isn't really full yet, but still, that's what we've got going on in the bag. So you see, that was two passes here, three passes over there, and the bag's half full. All easy. emptied out okay so bagging capacity very low so ladies and gentlemen I think that's about all I have to say for my first thoughts in trying out this mower now I'm going to go ahead and put in the clip from me at the lawn I was mowing the other day and show you after I mowed with the bagger, which I'll tell you how many charges it took me and all that. That's another thing we have to talk about. With this battery that comes with a 4 amp hour, you're only going to get about 30 minutes of runtime. So that's not a whole lot, but for some of you out in suburbia, that's the size of your lawn, you know? So you got to think about that. But if you've got a farmhouse with 30 acres, I mean, you know, it's like anything else. You just got to think about the application and what you're going to do with it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to cut to the video the other day. Maybe the video, we'll, we'll cut first to the video of the first day we got it, mom, mom mowing with it. And then we'll cut to my video from the other day. And then we'll come back with final thoughts. Holy frig. What are we going to do with this? Hang on, hang on, we gotta get a nice nice shot here of the power, the total power. Wow, okay, go ahead. This is just, yeah, it is pretty much like vacuum, I'll give it up. This is ridiculous. No doubt in my mind. <laughs> Guys, I just got done mowing this and bagging it with the leaf bagger with the uh, little beast, little Ryobi machine there. Not too shabby. I mean, it left some leaves, obviously. I mean, it's not going to pick up everything, but it friggin' rocks. And look at over here. What it did leave, it chopped up really, really fine. I mean, there's some leaves here still. That here and there, but I mean, overall, because that's like dips and stuff where it's not reaching, but the flat places, it's pretty freaking clean. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed with this little thing, guys. Gotta be honest, didn't want to be. I mean, I'm a Ryobi guy, you know, I'm a Ryobi guy, but honestly, I just wanted to laugh it to death because it's like it's. It's so ridiculous. 
Like seriously. Like what would not make you want to laugh? Okay? It's ridiculous. But I didn't laugh. I, I braved it out. I actually had this job I was hired for down here. My neighbor's house. And my mower quit. I think it might be detonating slowly. Because it sprang out like a gassy, oily mix out of the engine block. So that could be good. But anyway. So I got it almost done the other day. And I ran out of... Well. <laughs> ran out of mowers that ran. And mom had wanted this mower. So she went down and she got it. And... Uh, I ended up taking it down today. I did have to do the lawn, that section of lawn I showed you, the big section there. And it is a big, big section. Okay. I had to do that in two charges. And I wasn't just using the 4 amp hour. I used the 4 amp hour. And I used two of my Slim Lithiums, 1.3 amp hour Lithiums. Those don't work with it that good. But, anyway, I, uh, I did do the lawn with that and both of those small ones the first time. And then I came back the second time and all I needed was the big one once. So, probably the big one would have done it, I would say, in two charges. Because I didn't use all of it up this time. I still have... Two bars left and I didn't get much use out of my slim lithiums in it because it's so much I guess it's where it's so much uh, you know draw on them it just they get warm I think and then it kicks off and they just don't really work that well and you don't get as much power when it does run but with that big battery it's insane this mower would be perfect with like one of those 9 amp hour batteries you could go for like forever probably. So, yeah. The little thing does a good job. I'm impressed. It's pretty it's pretty adorable. Just saying, but it does a good job. So that's my thought on that. And this I want to show you this clip of the lawn. So let's get back into the video here. Okay guys. So final thoughts. I guess. This thing, really, it works great for mom. Mom absolutely loves it. It works great for the application she got it for, which is mowing small parts of the lawn progressively throughout the week, not going out there and setting the world on fire, but going out for 30 minutes at a time in the afternoon or whatever, maybe once in the morning, once in the afternoon, you know, and knocking out a small section of the lawn. She's in no hurry, okay, and she doesn't have to mess with carburetors and fuel lines and all that garbage, okay? So, for the women out there, let me say, if you are the ones who mow the lawn, and you don't want to pay a shop to keep a mower going for you, this is a good option for you. Okay, now depending on lawn size, you may choose to go with the electric riding mowers. Okay, Ryobi makes more than just this. They make 40 volt push mowers for starts that have more power, as I was saying before, and bigger uh, cutting deck. They have zero turns, electric full size zero turns, riding mowers, whatever. So you have to think about how you're going to use it and where you're going to use it. So, for those of you women out there, who want a small push mower okay because if you have two this is also something to think about if you have a riding mower already a gas one or an electric one you're gonna do the main parts of your lawn with that and the only thing you're gonna be doing with something like this is the smaller parts okay just small parts that you don't want to try to get the big mower and do things like that so this is great for women I 100% recommend it for women for men Ah, uh, jeez. I... 
don't get me wrong. I am sick and tired of frigging around with gas mowers, okay, that never want to run. Now, I know how to make them run, okay, that's not the issue. The issue is I go out to mow the lawn, the frigging thing won't start, and then I lose a bunch of time trying to get it running. So, here's the thing. My solution has been, get a bunch of gas push mowers, old ones, and then you always have a backup. <laughs> but that's not everybody's solution. Something like this, I'm not opposed to, believe it or not. Uh, is it the most practical thing in the world? Well, depends on what you're going to use it for. I would say to have as a push mower, in addition to a gas riding mower, this is great even for guys, okay? Because there again, like on my lawn, I do almost all of it with a riding mower, okay? And then there's small sections that I go back with a push mower, and I do, okay? Now that I have a riding mower, before I mowed the whole lawn with a push mower. So it depends on what you're doing. Okay, if you're a guy who lives in some apartment, okay, somewhere, or something like that, and you have a very small lawn, it's great. You can store it inside, in a closet somewhere, and you don't smell gas fumes. That's great. Okay. If you have a great big lawn, okay, and, you know, I would not recommend going all electric. Not even with electric riding mower. I would not. It's it's not worth it. So there again, it comes down to application. Overall, what's my thoughts on this push mower? I'm impressed. I really am. I, as I said in the other clip, really didn't want to like it. I really just want to laugh at it because it's ridiculous. It looks like R2-D2 with a bagger. Okay. <laughs> but... I found myself actually shocked and pleasantly surprised at the power it does have. Now, I have nothing to compare this to. I've never owned an electric mower of any kind. But I can say for this mower, the things it will do for no bigger than it is, and for only being 18 volt, are shocking. Now. I would be a huge advocate of the 40 volt line for those of you who, you know, don't mind paying the extra money or whatever. The only reason I would be more drawn to this personally over the 40 volt is because it's in that 18 volt one plus line, 120 some odd tools. Okay. That's what makes this shine for me. Um... It does great bagging. I stated earlier, it doesn't fill the bag before it stops bagging. I realize that's a big issue, depending. It's a very small bag. You have to empty it often. But, it really does a good job bagging for what it does. I mean, it really does. It it doesn't leave a whole lot behind. It bags everything up really nice as long as you keep that bag empty. Power-wise, it's not a powerhouse. Okay? It's an 18-volt lawnmower. You're asking the same battery that you use in your drill to mow your lawn. Okay? So you can't expect a lot. Now, I will say, I have the slim... Uh, what is it, one and a half or two amp hour batteries? The solid gray ones, not the lithium plus like that with the fuel gauge, but just the solid gray baseline lithium. They don't work worth a crap in that thing. Because for the amount of draw that's on the battery, the lithiums, when they get a lot of draw on them, they'll kick out because they don't want to damage the cells. They're, they're smart batteries, what they are. My little lithiums, amount of draw that that mower puts on them they just keep kicking out a lot even if they're not dead yet and they don't really uh, hold a charge a long time because that is asking so much so do not use this I wouldn't say 
with less than a 4 amp hour battery. And if you plan on mowing more than a half hour, you're going to want several batteries. 100%. Um, I guess that's about it. Overall quality, I'm very impressed. This was... How much was this? Was it 200 Yeah, it might have been close to $200. But, it really, it's really impressive, I guess. It really is. I There again, you know, I'm a tinker. Go gas if you can. But, there again, for no more than these costs, why not have one of these kicking around if you're already in the system? You know what I mean? Have one of these kicking around and, and as a backup. Or if the wife wants to go out and mow the lawn, you know? Or the kids, not the little kids, okay. But, you know, the, I don't know, tweens or teenagers want to go out and mow the lawn. Granted, you might be hard pressed to find a teenage boy who doesn't laugh at that. But still, still keeping an open mind, okay. Now, Dad actually used this over to the camper. I can't quote him directly, but he did say that as bad as he hated to admit it, this was one pretty impressive little machine for no more than it cost. So, yeah, I would say don't hesitate. If you got a small lawn, you know, don't hesitate. If you're a woman who likes to mow the lawn and you got a small lawn, don't hesitate. It is not a bad little mower. It really isn't. It's durable, even though it's all plastic. I'm surprised and impressed to say it is durable. And it does what it was designed to do. You know, it, it just does. Uh, all in all, it's worth the money. 100%. I love it. I hate to say love it. It's such an admittance, you know. I don't want to admit that, but I love it. Probably almost as much as I do my weed whacker. I can tell you the day when I was down doing that neighbor of mine's lawn uh, and my gas mower would not run because it had a bunch of issues with leaking oil and a bunch of stuff. Uh, I was very glad, very glad to have this little guy come to my rescue. So anyway, that's it for me and the Ryobi. Okay, go out there, get the job done with whatever works for you, okay? In the end, it's your decision. What I can tell you is, Ryobi has managed to do it again, make something affordable, and something that I can get behind under the right circumstances. <laughs> so that is my review of the Ryobi what was it, P1140, I think it was, kit, including mower, bagger, charger, and 4 amp hour battery. So, if you liked this video, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you thought, buy a t-shirt, <laughs> okay, support the channel, Hit the bell for notifications. There's going to be more stuff coming on. And I am sorry, guys. Codger's Workshop has been so long in coming. Because, you know, I was doing the garage videos and all that. But in the end, truly, deep down, inside, under all of it, my true passion is Codger's Workshop, Ryobi Reviews, and Carpentry. And that's what this is all about. So, tune in again next time for another video. You guys are awesome. This is Codger, signing off. Stay happy, stay healthy, and keep watching.